Oftentimes, we're by ourselves and all we have is a wall and a ball. Here are our five best wall ball drills. This wall ball drill can be used with smush balls or tennis balls. It's for quick hands and to increase your hand ball exchange. All you need is two balls, you need a wall, we're gonna get about three feet away and all we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the ball from our throwing hand into our catching hand and we're gonna exchange, as the ball's in the air, we're gonna exchange the ball into our throwing hand. Working on our handball exchange, working on our quickness, you can do it starting out, standing up straight first. Once you get used to doing that, you can have your right foot back with a small little bit of tilt and what you wanna do is you're focusing on catching the ball with your pointer fingers. With these fingers right here, you don't wanna try to catch the ball with your entire hand when you're doing this because then you're stabbing at it. So this really works on keeping your hands close, working the handball exchange. It's a hand eye. So Coach C's gonna come in and we're gonna have a little competition. It's super fun. You can time it for five seconds, 10 seconds, or you can race to 15. All right guys, in this wall ball drill here, we're gonna work on an infield drill. We're gonna work on our footwork, we're gonna work on our timing, and we're gonna work on attacking the baseball. You can see here on the ground, I've got three cones set up, okay? So what we're gonna focus on here is as the infielder, I wanna work on good left foot timing, creating some rhythm, creating some, some movement and momentum towards my target. So as I throw the ball off the wall, I'm gonna work around the three cones, and I'm really gonna focus on my left foot timing. So my left foot is rolling into the ground as, as the ball's getting ready to touch my glove. Full speed is gonna look like this. So you can see I'm taking that quick jab step to the right, I'm working around the three cones, and I'm really creating some momentum towards first base. Step two to this drill would be to work on backhands. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle the cones a little bit towards my backhand side. Here I'm gonna toss the ball off the wall, I'm gonna try to beat the ball to the spot, working around the cones this way to create a better angle, and then I'm gonna push through that backhand and again, create some momentum and direction towards first base. It's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna bounce it off, push through the backhand. Prep step, push it through the backhand. So it's just two really good ways to work on your footwork on routine plays and backhands, just using a ball and a wall. In this drill, we're gonna work on drop steps and how to use fly balls into the wall balls. So we're gonna take a baseball, we have our glove, we're gonna get nice and close to the wall. We're gonna face the wall, we're gonna toss it off, we're gonna drop step, go and catch the baseball. It's gonna look just like this. Sometimes it really shoots them off, so it's a great drill for focusing on reaction. You can go left, right, forehands, backhands, some of them aren't gonna go as far, and you can really challenge yourself and really throw it hard so you're just drop stepping and going straight back. All right guys, in this video here, we're gonna work on wall ball, but as a first baseman. So I'm gonna work on my picks. I'm gonna show you two different versions of it. The first one, I'm gonna start out on a knee. So basically, I'm just gonna put my right foot here on the edge of the bag. I'm gonna stride out with my left, because no matter what, where the ball's thrown, my right foot's gonna pivot and I'm gonna stride out. And all I'm gonna do is work on some backhand and forehand picks here. I got a baseball and I got my glove. So backhand picks first, and I'm just working on making sure that I stay low and I pick back through the same direction that the ball's traveling. Okay, you'll see too often guys stay tall and they start swinging their arm like this, but I wanna make sure I bury my head behind my glove and I work nice and low that pitch, trying to attack the short hop. Now I'm gonna alternate and go some, some forehands. So once we get a good feel for picking through the baseball, attacking the short hop, we can go onto our feet. I'm gonna back the base up a bit. I'm gonna get preset with both heels on the bag. So now from this position here, I'm always gonna pivot with my right foot. I'm gonna stride out. And I'm gonna pick through the backhand first. Now I'm gonna work some forehands. It's a great way to get your pick work done at home if you're a first baseman, just using a wall and a ball. In this video, we're gonna use the wall and a ball. We're gonna do a two different versions of it. One with a partner. If you have a partner, your partner's gonna roll the ball to you, we're gonna field it, and we're gonna work on different arm slots. We're gonna throw it into the wall, it's gonna bounce back to us, we'll toss it back to our partner. It's gonna look just like this. I'm on my right knee, my left foot is facing my target, I'm gonna be in my fielding position, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work on fielding the baseball, staying down, and tossing them all. We could field, we're, just, we're working on staying nice and low, we're working on Drill number two is if I don't have a partner 
If I don't have a partner and I'm only by myself, I can toss the ball up and simulate the same exact motion of slingshotting the ball, staying nice and low, keeping my posture down. We want to stay away from fielding and coming straight up in the air and then spiking the ball down. We want to stay in our 45. We want to stay down. The ball should be going uphill. And a good way for me to know is the ball should be fielding the ball like this after I catch it. Proper? Incorrect. So those are our five best wall ball drills. Get creative at home. You can use a baseball, you can use a tennis ball, you can use smush balls just like we did, working on footwork, glove work, drop steps, picks, and working through the ball.